Good morning everyone. Today I'm joined by Laura Perrin, England under 20s player. She's also a Premiership player with Waterloo. Uh, and Laura's our newest recruit to the community department here at Fylde Rugby Club. So good morning Laura. Morning Gavin. Uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to find out a little bit more about yourself, a bit more about your playing background yep. and your links with Fylde. So how did you get started playing rugby? So I started playing rugby uh, when I was six years old for the under seven section in the mini, mini juniors um, because uh, my brother who's uh, a couple of years older than me, he started playing and I thought well this isn't fair, I would love to get involved instead of, instead of being stood on the sidelines because um, I've always had that competitive nature within me I thought well if he can do it then I can definitely do it and I think from the first training session I was just hooked uh, and then played right the way through to the under 12 section, uh, absolutely loving every single minute. Um, so I've been playing now for uh, 13 years, Wow, just catapulted into where I am now. Yeah, brilliant. So give us a little bit of background about how you got started as a pre Premiership player and ultimately leading to your England under 20 selection. Yep, so um, at the start of, not this current season, but the season just, just gone, um, I ended up joining the uh, Fogel Waterloo Ladies because I've got a couple of friends who've, who've moved on that from there from the uh, from the girls mini junior section, uh, sorry, the girls junior sections, wow. and thought, well, they're playing to such a high standard that I'd love to get involved. I'd love to try and better myself as a as a, as a player and also as a person. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I just I just ended up started playing with the ladies, and they must have <laughs> liked the way I've been playing. So then they called me into the into the first team, and I've been playing uh, against uh, some fantastic teams, some international players, um, and it's just fantastic. Yeah, it sounds amazing, really does. So tell me more about what you're hoping to achieve more in the future. I know you've come on board as a, as a full-time coach here uh, as, as part of the community department. So what prompted your decision to do that? Um, so I've always been looking for a way to get more into coaching um, because I think if I were able to develop myself as a coach, I'd be, I'd be a better player. And if I'm mm -hmm. obviously playing there, I understand what, um, what's being sought for within a coach. So mm -hmm. best of both worlds. Um, but I've always, I've always wanted to get involved with coaching because it's not just about uh, teaching the skills that are on offer, um, but it's also about trying to develop. Uh, if you're working with, obviously, if you work with children, trying to develop um, those those traits, um, those those drives, teamwork, and obviously those skills can then be taken forward into later life. And I think that is a really essential part of development. So Laura, you're going to be heading up a lot of our uh, girls' uh, rugby sessions, which is part of the rugby development programme that we've developed in conjunction with Blackpool Six. Uh, I know for a fact that there's certain high schools where the demand for girls' rugby, um, whether that be touch rugby or full contact rugby, is very high. In fact, one of the high schools in particular in North Fylde, I think we've had 19 girls a, in the year group 7, 8 and 9 actually sign up to one of these sessions. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about um, how you're looking to inspire the next generation of female rugby players. So I think obviously, as you've just said, the, the interest is definitely there. I think it's just getting that support network in place and making sure that there's enough uh, coaching that the girls want to want to go forward and want to improve and then um, want to go on and play with, with, uh, with their friends. And I think... In, in terms of getting more girls inspired, I think it's then using uh, the successes that we've had recently with the with the Red Roses England squad. Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. maybe using kind of the fact that they're now fully fully contracted professional athletes, mm -hmm. and that there is there is futures there, and we, they are looking for players to develop and to fill those spots within the next upcoming years. And I think that within itself is really exciting, um, and just kind of culminating that interest and that talent that there is lower down in grassroots level is is what we're really after. Brilliant. So tell me a little bit more about the uh, satellite club that we were working on. We've, we've had a chat about what we're hoping to do here at File. So tell me a little bit more about that. So I, I believe that we're looking to set up a, a satellite, girl, uh, satellite uh, club for girls uh, between the ages of 14 and 19 uh, so that hopefully once we've got the interest there uh, that we'll get enough girls signed up to hopefully then be able to play some matches, uh, full contact uh, and then obviously we can develop uh, further skills, further full contact skills um, and get the girls going forward hopefully on towards Lancashire and maybe higher representative honours. Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Looking forward to work working with you.